Welcome to another edition of Let's Play FIFA brought to you by whatsmetro.com. I'm your host, Jason Ipico. <clears throat> uh, today we have the Portland Timbers taking on... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the Portland Timbers taking on the New York Red Bulls. This match is uh, Sunday night, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN. Uh, a little bit of a weird lineup tonight because uh, Dax McCarty and Connor Later out. So I have Sean Davis in for Dax McCarty, um, Anthony Wallace in for Connor Laid, and because I felt like putting him in, uh, Verone is in for Mike Grella. Uh, this is all coming after the two-one loss at New England, the kind of uh, the really ugly loss, actually, <laughs> not kind of it's a, it's an ugly loss between how the team played and the referee. It was just all around not a good night for anybody. So let's see if we can at least bounce back, get three points on the road, and uh, have a good run at the shield. Didn't hesitate, did he, with that challenge? So there's not a lot of news that happened um, since the New England match. Understandably so. I mean, the game was only on Wednesday. Ah, well, oh, just it's not even who I was pass passing to, but oh well. They're gonna show it. <coughs> Jeez, I wasn't even close to being on side. Um, so the one bit of news, which is kind of bittersweet, Matt Miazga is going to be called up to the United States U23 team, and uh, right off the bat, and I'm playing semi-pro again, by the way, because I still have not gotten like a two or three plus goal victories, so we'll see what happens, but. There's your opening... What the heck is up with Kleshen's chest? That was really weird. Uh, anyway. Uh, Miazga was called up to the U23 camp for uh, Olympic qualifying. So it's a little bittersweet because, one, you know, it's good to see some of our players go off and play with the national teams, but at the same time, that means he will not be around. Four games uh, down the stretch run of the season. Th that was a weird announcer. It's a question, not like a question, or however he said it. Oh, that was a bad pass. Of course, like then my patented bad defense comes into play. Um, so, it's good that Miyaz is going to play with the U23s. Sucks because he won't be around. Ah, oh, god damn it, Sam. Or Wallace. Sorry, I, I'm trying to keep it clean, but that was just... I wanted to turn it on right as soon as he beat that defender, and he didn't, and it's just... Man, that was just terrible. So, anyway, <clears throat> Miyazaki wanted to join the Olympic qualifying, which is a good thing for him. Not so good for the rest stretch run. The one bright side is that at least, you know, the Red Bulls are pretty set at this point in terms of... Can I get beat him? That was a late, late flag. Oh, that was... Oh. Anyway. Uh, hopefully by the time Miyazaki leaves, the Red Bulls will be in a playoff spot. And speaking of which, um, this, this game... Or I am playing this before the Orlando game, so I have no idea what's going to happen. But assuming that Orlando lost, the Red Bulls are actually in the playoffs already, so you could be 
Ooh, so this could be completely wrong by the time this game, or you were watching this. But if Orlando loses, the Red Bulls are in the playoffs regardless of what happens against Portland. So, um, at that point, the only thing to worry about is seeding and the, and the supporter shield. Um, but if you were watching this before the Portland match, you should go over to OneSemester.com. We have two pieces by uh, Lester Townsend. Somehow, I don't know where he found this, but apparently Oregon Trail, the, the video game still exists somewhere. And he uh, took the Red Bulls on the Oregon Trail because apparently planes are, you know, it's not hipster enough to take a, tr to take a plane to Portland. you got to take a wagon now. And that's a, uh, a kind of a two-part article. And you should definitely check that out. Oh. Come on, Bradley. You were right there. Oh, wait. What the? Look, that looks like it should have been a corner kick. Alright, let's see how this comes off. Wow, that was just completely bad by uh, Digital Ray Phillips. Wow. So, uh, for some reason that reminded me, uh, next week's game against Orlando, we'll, uh, we'll be using FIFA 16 for the first time. Uh, I did a demo video a week or two ago when the, <clears throat> when the, the downloadable demo came out, so you should check that out. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Foul in my favor. Thought this out. Calm it down. Got that demo video. Um, next week we'll do it, the game in FIFA 16. That's very well read. And that's a very good interview. That was a bad back heel. That's a terrible pass on my part. Seriously, I just I am terrible passing today. Or again, I'm terrible on most days, but um. So yeah, this the next game will be FIFA 16. Um. Let's see on the website. We also have two interviews by uh, Aaron Bauer that are worth checking out. He got to talk to uh, Devon Speedy Williams of the USL Red Bulls 2. That's a really good read. And then uh, also an exclusive interview with Ali Curtis, who talks about how he wants to be at the forefront of MLS scouting. <clears throat> and both of those are really, really worth the read. Aaron's been doing a lot of interviews recently and a lot of quality work. Alright, well I survived the first half, what nothing. After that quick goal. Hopefully I can grow that lead in the second half. Some confidence from that. They did, it doesn't always work out that way, does it? And it can allow the opposition to get into it. no here. So we reach half time with a score one nil. Let's take it. Now the second period, the second half is underway. Real tussle for the ball. That passing is top class. It was top class until I let it go. 
<laughs> just barreled over Ray Phillips and nothing happened. Speaking of Ray Phillips, um, August, goal of the month for once Metro, as voted by you guys, the fans, goes to the aforementioned brother Ray Phillips. Uh, I think it's his first win all year. Um, he actually, it was funny, after we put out the uh, celebratory tweet on Twitter, um, he actually said that uh, Mike Rilla has next, and honestly, you know, after that rocket in New England, it's kind of a conclusion that's going to happen that way. Oh, that was a terrible shot from out long. <laughs> Um, in news of Red Bulls from days gone by, Richard Eckersley, who left the team after last season, reportedly is with Oldham Athletic now. Um, don't know much about what he, or what he's going to have to deal, but it's just surprising anybody picked him up at this point, honestly. Easy decision, free kick. Did I get a, another foul in my favor? Oh, wow. You got a yellow card in my favor. So. All right, let's see if I can. I'm gonna whip this in here. Oh, look at that! Freaking catter! Oh, that was an amazing shot by me. Cause I've never done that before, ever in any FIFA video game. I am not that good. I need to see the replay of this. And I wonder about the keeper, but there was good power on that header. Wow. The goal. Unchallenged. Goalkeeper didn't even go for it. That's amazing. Now it's 2 0. Valerie. In the 61st minute, number 16. That's actually second goal of the game, if I'm wrong, if I'm not mistaken. Now I'm just toying with the defense. <clears throat> well, that was a bad pass. So get for being cocky about it. All right, let's see. Um, uh, this this is a kind of a big thing. Apparently, uh, Thief Pro the. Players Union, I guess in Europe, I'm not sure if it's all over, but at least in Europe, um, is challenging FIFA and UEFA to get rid of transfers. This is my basic understanding of it. Ah, that's offside. That was an easy decision for the assistant. It's offside. He's gone too early. I had to do that a second sooner, I didn't do it. Um, <clears throat> certainly, FIFA was trying to challenge the transfer market. They want to I don't know if it's get rid of the market, or at least like reduce the sway it has on the game. Uh, that part is not really clear to me. Let's have another look at it, Alan. But <clears throat> any sort of movement away from a transfer market would be a big deal. <coughs> oh, and that went straight out of the skill game. That was just too easy because I've played that skill game before and just completely destroyed it. All 
All right, I guess after this game, I got to bump, or I was going to say bump back up to professional, but I guess I have to, since I'm going to do FIFA 16, I have to see what's going on with that. That was just a beautiful play. That was lucky. Get back by me. I want to end this game with a shutout again. Let's go. Well, the help, if he wants it, is through the middle, actually. All right, there we go. That's... Hesitated. I should have taken that shot right away. All right. Well, since we're so close to end the game, uh, you can visit our website at onceametro.com. You can follow us on Twitter at once underscore a underscore metro. Oh man, I was right there for the taking. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at doc the stooge, facebook.com slash once metro. Um, and of course, youtube.com slash once metro, which is where this video is hosted. Ooh, almost got four there. That would have been amazing. I don't think I've ever done four nothing in a, in a FIFA game. Well, I didn't phrase that. In a um, let's play FIFA game. Oh, 